Joining us now from Naples, Florida, Governor Scott, who thought he won election to the Senate Tuesday night. We also invited his opponent, Senator Nelson, but he declined. Governor, at 11 p.m. on election night, your lead was 56,000 votes. But as of the latest tally by the state, your lead is now down to 12,500, or as Phil pointed out, 0.15 percent over Bill Nelson. How do you feel about the recount, and how do you feel about your chances of winning? Well, we had 8 million people vote. Um, Chuck Schumer spent over $50 million trying to beat me, but we won. Uh, every supervisor election has reported their results. I'm up uh, about, I think, 12,500 votes. There's never been a recount that's changed uh, in Florida or any other state, uh, any sort of, win, li any sort of uh, win like that. So while we're going through the recount, uh, we won. Uh, the citizens of the state won. Uh, I'm going to be going to D.C., and I'm going to do exactly what I did in Florida, try to change the direction of the country like we tried to change the direction of Florida. You suggested earlier this week that there was rampant fraud, your phrase going on here. Let's take a look at what you had to say. No ragtime group of liberal activists or lawyers from D.C. will be allowed to steal this election. Governor, do you have any hard evidence that there was actual fraud or is actual fraud going on? And if so, by whom? Sure. So, so, Chris, we have very specific election laws in the state to try to prevent fraud. Uh, we had to go to court uh, to force the supervisor elections in Palm Beach County and Broward County to comply with the law, which is the law is there to prevent fraud. They were not letting party officials review, um, you know, when they were reviewing ballots. They didn't report on time. How We, we still don't understand how they went in, in these two counties and had a dramatic increase. Another 93,000 votes were cast, or somehow they came up with 93,000 votes after election night. We still don't know how they came up with that. So we're trying to figure out exactly what, we, what happened. I've asked the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to go in and do an investigation to find out what happened here. But we clearly know, the judges have already said, they clearly violated the law. I, I, I agree with you. There were two decisions, one in Broward County and one in Palm Beach County, which both said that the election supervisors there did not comply with transparency in making information available. On the other hand, as you point out, you asked the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to investigate any accusations of wrongdoing, but the department says so far they've done nothing because they have no specific allegations of fraud, uh, and the Secretary of State's office says the same thing. So certainly they were not as transparent as they should be, and that had to be remedied by the courts, but there, were, there are no allegations of fraud at this point. Well, first off, the laws are, Chris, the laws are set up to stop fraud. That's what the laws are set up to do. And let's look at what happened yesterday. We know Senator Nelson's lawyer said that a non-citizen should have the right to vote. Senator Nelson has gone to, tr gone to court to say that fraudulent ballots, fraudulent ballots that were not properly um, uh, delivered, signed, whatever, should, have, should be counted. Okay, Senator Nelson is clearly trying to, find, to try to commit fraud to try to win this election. That's all this is. But I, wait a second. I want to pick up on that. You're accusing Bill Nelson of trying to commit fraud? His lawyer said that a non-citizen should vote. That's one. Number two, he's gone to trial and said that fraudulent ballots should be counted. Ballots have already been thrown out because they were not done properly. He said those should be counted. And you think that is the senator himself is committing fraud? Well, it's his team. I want to play a clip from Senator Nelson. He issued a video yesterday. Let's take a look at that. Votes are not being found. They're being counted. He says this is just a matter of, of allowing the democratic process in Florida to continue. Your reaction to that, Governor? Chris, 93,000 ballots were found after election night. It's the law. You have to say how many ballots have been, how many votes have been cast that night, okay, within 30 minutes after election. Okay, somehow, after the election finished, somehow they came up with 93,000 votes afterwards. How did they, Chris, how did they do it? We don't know. Bill Nelson's a sore loser. He's been in politics way too long, 42 years. He just won't give up, and he's saying, if you're, if you're not a citizen, you ought, your vote ought to count. He's saying that fraudulent ballots ought to count. 
that's wrong. I, I want to turn the subject slightly with you about this because the election supervisor in Broward County, a woman named Brenda Snipes, has, has a history of irregularities. And in fact, two years ago, a judge ruled that she illegally destroyed ballots from a Democratic primary. The question I have for you is, as governor, you could have suspended her at some point and, and named a replacement. Why didn't you? Well, what I'm focused on now is we've gone through an election. Let's get this election finished. That's what I'm focused on now. Let's get this election finished. Let's make sure she complies with the law. Let's make sure that uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement does an investigation. I've asked all the sheriffs who have the authority to do this to be very vigilant uh, with this. We have 7,500 volunteers willing to, willing to go in. Um, but look, Bill Nelson's a sore loser. Uh, we've won. We have had to win this election twice uh, now. I will be going to Washington as the next U.S. Senator from Florida, and I'm going to work hard to change the direction of this country like we did in Florida. you got to know that people across the country are saying Florida, again, recounting controversies, bad ballot design. You were governor for eight years. Could you have done more to reform the election system than you did? Well, you know, Chris, we have laws, right, that try to prevent fraud, to try to make sure people feel like, you know, there's an honest election here. It's so frustrating when you see supervisor elections that violate the law. That's what, not just what I'm saying, what judges are saying. You know, we have a reason that we have party officials be able to review ballots. We have, we have a reason that we report information so you, to prevent fraud. I mean, the supervisor in Broward has admitted uh, ballots that shouldn't have been cast in this election got, got you know, put together with other ballots. So we know, they're doing, we know they're doing the wrong thing. We're trying to do everything we can to prevent fraud. But these individuals, you know, we've had to go to court to try to get them to comply with the law. We can pass every law you want, but if people don't comply with it, what else can you do? I, I got one final question for you, uh, Governor. Uh, you, you've said a couple of times you're the new senator, you're headed to Washington, you're going to change things. Specifically, the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has scheduled a photo op for two days from now, for Tuesday, I think it's at 10 a.m., uh, a photo op where he'll take pictures with all of the new coming Republican senators. Are you going to be there? I haven't, I haven't decided where I'm going to be uh, this week. You know, we're, you know, we're going to watch the, this uh, manual um, uh, machine recount uh, process, so I'll figure that out um, in, the next few, in the next few days. But I look forward to going to D.C. I look forward to being uh, the Florida senator and working to make sure this is a better, uh, better place for all of our families like we've done in Florida. Governor Scott, thank you. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us, and you can be sure we'll stay on top of the recount this week. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.